in a moment of inspiration, where are you? You know, you're in, you're in several centuries at the same time. If you're doing a classical play, what century are you in? What thought are you having? I mean, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. You know, the only thing that's as good as that is love, which also puts you in a cosmic sense where life is redefined for you. And this is what the artistic process is. When I was growing up, I was raised with the impression that almost any artistic process uh, was learning how to separate life from art. You would have this technique in which you would create something, and this technique was something that existed uh, outside of yourself in a way. It wasn't part of you. It was something that you had to learn. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, human in a way. It was something other than human. I would sometimes feel that I was less prepared because I said everyone else has this idea that when you start you should know exactly what you're gonna, where you're going to end up. And after a while I went, well, what, what's so great about knowing where you're going to end up? Any of the moments that I ever had that I liked in my own work always seemed to happen when I wasn't doing anything. I became deeply involved in, in some imaginary world and something would happen to me. I was not making something happen. It's the nature of the creative process. As you're creating something, it's teaching you something, and you're actually, it forces you to focus on what it is you really want to do. So the more involved I became in the book, the more I had to say, well, what are you trying to say? I mean, you can't just write a book. What are you trying to say? I mean, if you're not teaching a method or a system, if it's not a cookbook, what is it? And that eventually did lead me to uh, discover the nine natural laws of creativity. Uh, it seems to me that uh, the way in which Johnny's work is different is that many uh, very good teachers even tend to teach by what I call by the numbers. It's like, you know, color between the lines. And a creative process isn't like that, so that even Johnny's nine natural laws are based not on some kind of rigid dogmatic thing and he obviously he doesn't go into a class and say okay now we're going to do law one law two law three what happens with a lot of teachers is that they become trapped by their own um uh the, you know by those those little boundaries you know the generation before me meaning my father and stella adler sandy meisner of course a lot of what they're teaching isn't in their methods because a lot of what they're teaching was their own dedication, their own obsession with their work, uh, their own artistic visions, so that the individual, the person, can't be separated from the technique. You just can't do that. In sense memory work, everything that you do is funneled through the idea that you do an exercise in order to tap into some of your own experience. And I say, well, why can't you just tap into their life experience? Why can't you go directly to the source? And the more that I felt that and the more that I understood the process, the more confirmed I became in, in, in a more organic way of training other people. Say if you were doing a scene and it's really hot, you know, you're in, and you're out in the sunlight, that you would have to really imagine the sun. And you can't cheat by using one of the lights, you know. Um, I mean, that would be cheating if you really didn't imagine the sun. But, you know, but John would say, well, the scene's not about the sun, you know, beating down on you. It's okay to use the light if that, if that works for you. And that's the thing that I think he taught me. He said, it's whatever works for you. You make up your own method. An actor, when he begins, is already at a point that no other artist is at, meaning that however old you are, you have had a certain amount of life experience, and you have a knowledge and experience of life which if you're going to be any good, you're going to have to be able to draw upon that. And that therefore training your own awareness and your capacity to use your own life experience is fundamentally basic technique. 